Hello everyone. I am Nutrix the Sim Guy and today I'm talking about um, a topic that I'm reading a lot these days on the internet about dollless music. So making music without a computer and a DAW, a digital audio workstation or you know hardware jamming you would call it and other people are saying iPad only music. I know it's um, there's this is a whole question of which one is better and which one will push you to go to where you want and, and help you make better music and all that. And I find that a little bit sad in a way because these are tools, these are instrument into making music. So it basically is it's the wrong discussion to say dollless is better, or computer music is better, hardware is the best, isn't it? Honestly, just make music. Have fun. Because if you don't have fun, you won't make music. And if making music is, is, is hard and, and painful, you'll do something else. You will do something else. So it has to be, um, it has to give you a good feeling in the end. You know, I have my personal favorite. You have yours, everybody have theirs, and it's all good. I think no one should limit themselves into saying hardware only, software only, um, iPad only. Of course, I did an iPad only EP. Kind of, uh, I wanted to prove something that I could do it only on the iPad. And at the same time, by doing that, it forced me to figure out ways that I would not even try to look into if I would just go, okay, let's use my computer like I do all the time, you know. And I talked about it in other videos. Um, I personally like hardware because it is, I would say, it gives you an instant gratification. You turn a knob, you hear a result. So anybody, even the, the newbies, I mean, when I started making music, that was what got me hooked, is the fact that I could just turn the knobs and hear what I was doing. I, I didn't know what I was doing, but I had, I had fun. You know, it was just feeling great. And that's what got me into making music. And, and getting a beatbox and programming beats, I don't know how to play drum, but I have these ideas I could actually put into structured and ha hear them and go, it's a song. I might be crap. But it was my song, you know, I felt good about it. Then I would play back to my friends. So I think do not limit yourself to dollless or not dollless or computer only or iPad or iPhone. Just make music. Just have fun. Make as much music as you can. The more you make it, the better you'll be at it. Like anything else in life, as you practice more, as you do it for fun, you'll be better at it. And you'll have other ideas and you'll get inspired. I know it's easy to fall into, I want to buy this, I want to buy that. Because everything looks so nice and cool. And what I'm trying to do here in my videos is that I want to talk about the hardware and the software. I want to answer these questions because it's easy to fall into the gear acquisition syndrome or the gear loss. You just want, oh, I want to have this, I want to have that. And it's easy because today there's so many options. So go back to the basics. Make music. You don't need 25 tracks to do music. You need drums and you need a bass, a lead, let's say a pad, and you have enough. And if you want more than that, you can later on add to it. But that's enough to make a song. You have the rhythm, you have the bottom, the bass, you have the leads for the melody, and you have the pad for the background. You can create any songs with that. Anything can be done. Go ahead, make music. You can use something that is free. Make music. You can use all the hardware that you have, but use it. Make music. If you buy stuff and you just keep it for, well, maybe one day, sell it and buy something else that inspired you. I'm thinking, I'm looking at the gear I have and I'm saying, okay, if I don't use it for two years, and, and that's a long time, if I don't use it for two years, get rid of it. Get rid of it. Because 
it means that it does not inspire you anymore. It does not trigger the need to use and, 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 and create with that. So something else might actually trigger in your psyche and in your, in your bones that you want to use that other piece of gear and make music. So get inspired. Of course, I personally like the fact that hardware is tactile. You have an interaction with it. It's more of an instrument than a piece of gear, honestly. But software could be used this way. It all depends on how you interact with it. I personally do not get inspired by computer, but that's, that's me. It doesn't have to be everybody. But I get inspired by, by iPads. And they're computers in a tablet form. So it's not really the fact that it's a DAW or DAWless system. It's the fact that I get inspired by it. I get the tools I want for the workflow I have and the quickest I can go get from ideas or to ins from inspiration to making something and actually having the capacity to finish it. It's great. I personally love iPad music because it, you just turn it on, you load the song and usually you're at where you were and then you just play. Even with headphones and all that. So it, this is super easy. It's the same fast, interactive um, play that you have with the iPad that you would have with hardware. Software, on a computer you have everything else that is the uh, hardware, the sound card, the interface, the MIDI, the drivers, that does it work, that doesn't work, uh, syncing, configuration, all that. It's still one of the best place to finish your songs because that's where you have all the magic and the depth of controls and and features and quality that you might not have if you only do tallest. So I'm saying just make music, find the workflow that really makes you happy. And if it if it's actually composing on the iPad, rough ideas that you don't keep for the sound, but you have the structure, then you go with your hardware because you like the sound of these knobs and you can easily create what you want. You record it into your DAW and you finish it with the tool that you have there. So be it. Just make more music and share it and, and put it online, sell it, make it happen. Don't stop. Don't go, I can't do that. No, do it. I'm saying that because I was asked today to talk more about how I did the song Antony that was released this week on uh, Feedback. And um, I honestly doesn't have the track anymore. I just don't have the track anymore. That's why I had the problem that I had only a stereo track and I had to work with a stereo track because I don't have the session anymore. I don't have the track. But I will explain how I did it. The original tracks or patterns of songs were made with Gadget. So I used Gadget to uh, create the drum, the bass and the lead. That was basically it. That was the, the core of the sound of, of the song. Then what I did was I exported it um, into live because Gadget can export into live. And I did that because basically I, I wanted to test out how live and Gadget would coexist. And then in live, I imported all the file and I started to structure the evolution of a song. It was too much repetition in it. So I would, I would try to figure out how I could change all of that. So I actually got and used um, different plugins, uh, mostly from Native Instrument. Uh, a lot of time-based uh, chopping and, and, and looping. So that's what, what you hear in the song. Sometimes it's the same melody being played, but chopped in a different way by time-based um, effects and delays. Actually changed computer and some of the plugins do not work anymore with the computer I have. So I just can't even, if an, even if I add this session, I would not be able to run the effects. So it goes back to why I sometimes don't enjoy working with computers is that at one point, if you don't record the sound, you don't have it. You just lost everything. If you, if it's only a plugin, well, one day the plugin doesn't work. My keyboard still works. This thing is 20 years old. It still works. 
that's why you prefer hardware because in the long run you have an instrument that you keep a long time and if you don't want it anymore somebody else will be able to use it well, that's it guys this was a kind of a very fast way of you know talking about make more music and at the same time explaining why I got into this is, is this discussion is because when I looked at how I did that song that I just released it was done using an iPad using the computer um, then using the iPad again to finish it and it was released on the computer so use what you need make a song just do it and I'll see you soon.